In noon tonight, the Missouri Senate passed an education bill last week aimed at improving education here in the Show Me State. Now it's up to the House of Representatives to decide if the bill will become law. KTVO's Caitlin McGee spoke one-on-one -on -one with State Representative Danny Busick and has more on how the bill could affect education here in Northeast Missouri. Last week, Missouri senators voted 20 to 13 to pass a wide-ranging education bill with the goal of improving education in the Show Me State. A key part of the bill is expanding the state's K-12 tax credit scholarship program. State Representative Danny Busick says that the credit would give certain families the option of moving from a potentially failing school district to a neighboring school district. Geared towards uh, low-income individuals, uh, and so it allows those that were kind of locked into a school maybe that was failing, it allowed them the opportunity, you know, because we know richer students um, can get this opportunity to choose schools, but the, the poorer can't, and so this has offered them that chance. Other parts of the bill would boost public school funding and encourage teachers to stay in Missouri. Rural schools would also benefit from a state-funded increase in teacher pay, which can help smaller districts recruit teachers. It's cheaper to live in the rural areas and in many aspects, and so a teacher that would be making 40000 in these rural areas would be uh, doing very well then compared to making 40000 in maybe a, a larger place so they could live a little bit more comfortably maybe in the rural areas. Right now, Missouri school bus drivers who are 70 or older must take an annual test to renew their license. Another bill being looked at will raise that age to 77 before requiring a yearly test. This proposed change came about because bus companies are struggling to recruit new drivers due to the expense of the certification test and the low number of hours drivers get. With these federal regulations, you can't get hardly any young people to get on board. So your, your older individual, your retired individuals, is the ones that's driving a lot of our school buses. And so... Uh, a lot of them are just retiring when they hit 70 because they don't want to deal with the annual testing. And so this will allow us more of them to stay in the flow. Kayla McGee, KTVO News.